Hey everybody, Goddess of Chaos here. Have you ever been at work and you went to say something only for it to sound like something completely different? Here's what I mean. Today, I answer the phone. The person on the other line says, oh, I'm sorry, I think I got the wrong number, yada yada. Whenever that happens, I usually say, oh, no problem, or oh, no, no, you're good. What did I say? Oh, your problem. I don't think he caught that, but that's basically what this video is gonna be about today. What is that called when you mix two phrases together like that? I cannot think of it. Somebody in the comments, please help me out. But it at least gave me and my coworker a pretty good laugh. I am going to be finding other people that make the same mistakes See, I did again, the same, the same mistakes that I do. Hopefully, I am not the only idiot that has made a bad one like that. So, stick around. How many opportunities do you think employees ever get to see their boss get on their knees and actually do some work? Is that what, is that what you're enjoying, dropping me on my knees right now? Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. That reminds me of some of the conversations I used to have with the people I worked with whenever I worked at the pool store. Man, some of the conversations we had, if 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 HR had had gotten wind of like an eighth of the things that we said to each other, we would have been fired. <laughs> this is going to be good, I think. Do you guys ever have one of those days where... It's almost like your brain and mouth aren't connected. Like, what actually comes out of your mouth is not what you intended to have come out of your mouth. Yes. Because, like, I had one of those days the other day at work. I'm a certified nurse midwife. I see 15 to 18 patients a day in the office. So I do a lot of talking. And typically by, like, the last patient or two, sometimes what's coming out of my mouth isn't necessarily what I mean for it to actually sound like. So... One of my biggest philosophies as a nurse midwife is if I don't need to put my hands up there, I'm not going to. Like, if it's not going to tell me any new information, if it's not going to, if it's not something I actually have to do, and it's not going to benefit you or me, then I'm not going to put my hands up there. Because I feel like that's general common courtesy. And so, the other day I had a patient who, she was going to do like her GBS and gonorrhea chlamydia swabs, which we typically do around 36 weeks of pregnancy. And I actually have my patients collect those themselves. They're super easy to collect. It's something that you can do yourself. I do not need to put my hands up there. And she was my last patient of the day. I was trying to explain to her, like, why she could just do it herself. And what I meant to say was, if I don't need to put my hands up there, then I don't. Okay. What came out of her mouth <laughs> was not that. What came out of my mouth no. was... <laughs> It's always a good day if I don't stick my hands in someone else's vagina. I'm a midwife. I'm a nurse midwife. I do this every That's... day, all day long. <laughs> anyway, she got a good laugh. I got a good laugh. I apologized and clarified myself. And then she collected her own swabs. <laughs> yeah, I would say that was a, uh, a major, uh, what do you call that? Mess up in speech. Come on, help me out, guys. Um, Anyways, but at least her patient had a, a good sense of humor about the whole thing. Everyone, everyone needs a good laugh nowadays. So, all right, next one. That last one that got me. <laughs> However, if that young man had said that to me with my daughter, I'd be like, hey, take her. <laughs> Just kidding. I love her. <laughs> yeah, if, if that had been me, I'd have been just like, you know what? I resign. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> 
I accidentally said something really inappropriate at work Ooh, today. What'd you say? So in the bathroom of where I work, we have a sticky trap set up for bugs and rodents. I work at a lumber yard, so we don't have the most prestigious bathrooms. This morning we captured a small snake in the trap. One of my co-workers is absolutely terrified of snakes. He had to go to the bathroom really bad, but he didn't want to go in there with the snake present. Eventually, it got to the point where he had to choose between going in or peeing his pants. Long story short, he finally decided to temporarily face his fear. I jokingly shout from afar, Brayton, go free the snake from the trap. This brought forth negative responses from many in the room who didn't know there was an actual snake in there. They, of course, thought I was referring to something else. And now I'm in trouble. Anyway, that's Thursday for me. Okay, so, yeah, hopefully they gave him a chance to explain. I hope he didn't get in too much trouble at work. It, it's just one of those things that happens, but... <laughs> Okay, guys, so I'm going to only do one more because my husband is cooking downstairs because he's the best husband in the world. And it smells really good. And I'm getting hungry. And there's Raina. Hi. Does she see her hair? She got her hair done the other day at the salon, those little extension things. Hey, Mom, can I show you? So the, the fan something. So look, it goes to pink. To red. Ooh. And then I have a blue one to purple. Nice. But I don't know what that is. I think I probably lost it in my rainbow hairs. That's me. <laughs> so, one more. Uh, I'll turn it over to you. I guess you want to say, uh, you know, give a brief, uh, a quick introduction, brief introduction, um, regarding your, uh, you know, your role. I guess why you initially reached out, and then we can take it from there. Teeth. Yeah, that last one, I guess you can say that that one really stinks of embarrassment. Uh, yeah, that was lame. I'm going to go now. I'm getting hungry. Food's downstairs. I can smell it. My big old belly's rumbling. I'm going to get going. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. Remember go out into the world and cause a little bit of chaos. Have a good night, guys. Bye.